guys, it's me, Sam, from Sam's Backyard Fishing, and I'm here today with my brother Jack, Woo! and we're here in Matagorda, oh yeah, and this is my 20-inch redfish I caught yesterday, and anyway, let me see the face, there that spot, alright, and we're going to be showing you guys how to proper fi properly fillet one, so show them how to sound, Jack. Okay, first you're going to need your redfish, and it's going to be 20 or above inches, uh, you're gonna need to freeze it overnight or so whenever you want to. You just make sure it's dead, put it on ice, it's the most humane way to do it. And what you're gonna do first, well, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a spoon, a regular spoon to scale it, and an assortment of knives for different things that you're gonna be doing. So first what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna scale it, take the take the spoon like this with one thumb in it, and next finger behind it, so you can have some leverage on it. And just move up the fish, starting from the back, starting from the tail. All the scales off very easy with a spoon. Be careful that you get all of them because if there's any on it here, it's gonna make it a big pain to skin it once you're finished and also to cut, make the first incision. And it's not on. Alright, guys, feel free to skip. I'll have a link to skip to the end of the scaling. So feel free to skip to the end of the scaling. I'll leave a link. Take one of these. Yeah. They skip. This isn't the hardest fish to scale. Getting some hand action there. Oh. Uh, black drum or what Sheep, was it? Sheep's, Sheep's head. head are very hard to scale because there's so many bumps on the fish and the scales are huge. Oh. Got any gas tops still in there? Yeah, it's a big ass gap top. One of them broke my dad's rod. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the good one. <laughs> when I was like a couple of hundred. Okay. That's that good? I need to do like this side of the other one. We're only going to do one side. Okay. Yeah. Skip, 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 skip. Skip that. Mm -hmm. no, 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 we're good, we're good. Just keep, keep it going. I'm gonna leave the link. I might even cut it out, alright? Yeah. Probably will. I can't upload it till we get home, too. I'm gonna cut this part out anyway. Get some of that action in there. Do the swift hand movements. Pretty water. And our coast is gonna hold that. Oh, and a disclaimer this is going to get quite nasty soon. Okay. Alright, guys, so we're done with the scaling. And. Just a disclaimer, it's going to get very icky and nasty and a lot of guts here soon, so if you aren't in the entrails, out of here. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to peel these two fins back right here. I've already made an incision, but that was before I had scaled it and I forgot I had to scale it first. But what you're going to do is take your sharpest knife, preferably, right there, bury it. Preferably a fillet knife. Yeah, a fillet knife. And behind the gills, but, behind, but directly behind these two fins, so you get the most meat. Just make a diagonal incision. You're gonna have to put some effort into it. There is a spine here, though, in a redfish. Well, so you of course, beat that fish. down. So either if your fully knife isn't going to work, what I recommend is taking a very, very sharp saw-bladed knife, serrated edge. Really brute force. And you're gonna have to cut through the spine if it's sharp enough. If it's sharp enough, of course. What, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use my fillet knife because it is sharper. Beat it down. Just beat. Go right through. Now what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to pull it over. If it's too difficult, you're going to have to just do the same incision on the other side. And then have them meet in the middle. And it'll make it so much easier to cut through the center of the fish. And I just beat the... There you go, there you go. Get that head off there. Go. 
This is a very difficult fish to get the head off. I know some of you guys out there have get her, get her off in like 10 seconds. But the knives aren't very sharp. Alright, there we go. Let's head okay. off. Say bye That's to him. Say put his head in. Trails right there. Throw it in the water. Let the alligators get him. What you're also going to do here, now that you got the head off, you're going to see that there's intros coming out of this part right here. Mm. This hole in there, that's disgusting. What you're going to do, you're going to take your knife and just and chop you're just that shit cut, out. Cut oh. that off. Oh. You won't be needing that. It just gets it out of the way. You don't really have to. I mean, you can actually use that as bait for gaff top and stuff. Or other, so or other red fish. If, if you, you want to, that put that aside. That's a good bait. The intros, so they don't stay on your hook very long. That's basically just cut bait. Just cut that up a little bit. There's going to be a lot of sections in here. Be sure that you've got all of it out. More cut bait sauce right there. Stomach lining, fat. It depends on the size of the redfish's stomach, but sometimes you'll even have to bring it all the way up to this fin right here. If you've got a little extra on the sides, it's okay. But just for visibility purposes, I'm going to cut it all out. There we go. So now we're about to make our first large incision into the top to get the meat out. Yeah, so what we're going to do is take the scales off. Pick your preferred side, really does not matter. Make sure, okay, so what you're going to do, come up to the top here with also your sharp knife. Put it right here at the right where right the fin meets the fish. Right where the dorsal meets the fish. Yeah. What you're going to do, make a very... Oh, okay. A scales so make sure there's no scales up here. Scales can really mess you up. Get it on the side and bury the knife right in there. Make sure you're not hitting any spine. If you hear any bone cracking sounds, it's not good. You know, move the knife up at a little higher angle. Get it as shallow as possible towards that dorsal fin. Because that's how you get the most meat. Now just bring the knife along inside. You're going to peel it open here. Right here, this is all bone. You're going to want to get as close to the bone as you can so you get the most meat possible. You do not, not want any bone left over. Without breaking into the bone, though. So you just prick myself there. I might want to wear gloves because it hurts very bad to get pricked. Prick. Peel it open here. And once you've got like a fairly deep incision, you can get it up vertical and go from that standpoint. Try to just break it all the way down out of the fish. Get out of here. Now once you've got it as deep as you can, I have not yet. You have right here. You're gonna take your knife and bring it along the bottom edge. The bottom and edge that falls where it's straight off. And it falls straight off. Look yeah. at all that meat right there coming off this red fish. There's a lot of meat. Redfish is a very meaty fish. The, the meat is also very, very good on it. This is one of the best saltwater fish. Best eaten fish. Yeah, that around. you can get here down south. And they give great fights. Even the tinier ones. Uh, they don't have worms most of the year. I don't think they do get worms. I don't know if that is a thing or not. I don't know. I don't know either. Right here, getting into some bone right there. Get right above it, right along the bone. Come all the way down to the tail here. Once it starts to run out, just cut them off. Once it starts to run out, what you're going to do, just for easy peeling. Oh, look at that. Oh, dear. You're going to pull till you reveal some skin right there and some muscle. What you're going to do, you're going to cut that off. Do not just cut the meat off, though. Do not cut through the skin right here. And then you're going to cut right along the skin. This is how my brother does. He does it real good. You get all that, all the skin off easy right here. Right here. Yeah, let me see that. Just skin, and there's the meat coming right off. In there, it just falls straight off the skin. He's now what you can do now that you have that, you can cut this, cut all the skin off. Okay. Right there. Turn it around to where you can get your non non dominant hand grabbing onto the skin as tight as you can. You grab that skin, and just as you pull as hard as you can on and the skin. Slowly move your knife forward and backwards all the Look way up the fish. That. It's just falling straight off. Make sure it is at a straight, completely straight, with not going up or down. You all don't right. want to get any excess skin left on the fish, and you don't want to take any meat off the fish. Look at that. Oh, you're killing it. I'm locking it in here with my fist. 
And coming around here on the end. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Throw that Just in there. Skin. Throw that in there for that Just skin. gator. Look at that. Flip it over. Peel oh, over. damn, dude. Nice. There's just a nice. little bit of skin on it, but that just doesn't matter. Peel that off. Not even, not even a big bloodline on this fish. Look at that. You don't have to cut anything off once you're finished nice. cutting it. There you go. Uh, there's very little bones on this fish, but what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to feel around. Feel around, feel if you feel any bones. They're usually going to be right here, where the stomach was. A little bit of right, right, right And right if there. you have any bones at all, make a diagonal incision under them. And cut them off. Slice the ass off. A little bit of vertebrae stuck in there. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm not going to show you both sides because it's just exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, all you have to do for that side, flip that thing over. I'm not going to touch that right now. I ain't, got no, I ain't got dirty hands. Flip that over. Flip that over. All you got to do, same thing. Get it right about right near the dorsal. Right there, knife right there. And this cut them all the way down. Same. Turns right into this. Getting as much meat as you possibly can. All right. The easiest way possible. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Sam's Backyard Fishing. I'm Jack, his brother, and, of course, Sam is recording. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, watching guys. guys. And I'm going to cut you off with this nasty-ass picture of flies. Oh, God. Okay, get out of here, guys. Yeah. Bye.